So that's like the cool thing about fly fishing is you always compensate, comp, compensating, thinking. It's a thinking game, changing and trying different things until you get what works. And today that was uh, smacking the water with a sabiki. And without doing that, I'd have been lucky, I think, to get one or two needlefish. And they're still biting. All right, I think we finally got one. These things are great. It took me a bit, and the sabiki worked. We got a needle. Wow. Oh. Look at those jaws. That seems to be the last time I caught one. That's where he was. But that is a needle fish. Look at the beak on him. Kind of challenging. Kind of challenging. Let me see if I can get some more. But that seems to be the game. And again today I am saltwater fly fishing. Almost like wet fly fishing with the sabiki. I used uh, two rungs of sabiki and actually I wish I had a smaller one. I think would be more effective. And there's two things that that sabiki is doing, or maybe three. It's almost like a wet fly configuration. Um, the sabiki is just going to get more attention, almost like using a, a, a slapper or hopper. And you got two baits in the water, so you're going to get that attention, and you're going to get a better chance at hooking up just because you got more baits in the water. And uh, also on top, it's going to create that commotion. And there's probably something else I forgot to mention, but uh, the sabiki definitely did it today, and that's what we're doing. There we go, we got another needle. And he grabbed that sabiki that time. They seem to get it on the back end of their mouths. There he is. Way cool. That is way cool. These things are just cool. Wow, that is a needle. Whoa, slow down. They got some serious teeth on them. Too. Wow, ooh, watch out. Watch. Those hooks are sharp. And, wow. Might be a plier job. Got him pretty good. We'll get him on his way though. I'm just gonna grab my pliers. They are real difficult to get. I don't know. I have them a little bit figured out now. Well, he took that bait in over. He took that good. Oh boy. He made a mess here. That one's not in. This is the one here. There we go. That's not too bad. It was just on the side. I got it here. There he goes. That was a very ghost. Way cool. Fishing with the Sabigis here for difficult fish. What I've been noticing, when my line hits the water, that's how you kind of know they're there. They'll just respond to your fly, and there's, you see the swirls, or either your fly, or even, there they are. They'll take a swipe even at your line as it hits the water. And if you kind of, I've been kind of slapping the water, and it almost kind of draws them in on a groove. Then they've been getting really wiry once they're all together. See, there's more. Oh, just missed one. Like I said, they're hard to hook up. I should be using a smaller sabiki, but this is what I have. So this is what I'm going to use. There, you see those swirls? And the more you cast in that same area, the more fish you're going to draw in, the better chance that you're going to have of hooking up. So make Well, that is not a needle. That is... That is... Oh, it's a, it's a jack. It's a jack. Another jack. Two jacks on the year. Way cool. Juvenile jack. Mixed in with the needles. That is cool.
Awesome. It's getting a lot of attention. I should. I wish I had smaller sabigi with me. I have a million of them at home, but uh, that's a little big. But hopefully, it'll grab them. And today, I am using a sink tip line with my sabigi rig, and it's fairly, fairly quick sinking. Uh, it's got to be four to six inches. I do prefer the sinking lines uh, in windy days with current. Definitely a good, a great choice. Definitely a great choice is using a sinking line, any kind, and wind and current. I think. Got one. Got one. He took the fly, but I think that sabiki is definitely getting attention. It definitely is doing the job. We're, oh, that's the biggest one yet. We're drawing those there needlefish, houndfish, I think, uh, in with the sabiki. Oh, he. What did he grab? Oh, he did grab. He got beak wrapped. All right. So, kind of acts like a trap too. Uh, but what I was saying was, the sabiki gets that attention, regardless, along with your line. So we're drawing in a group of those needles with that top order. You probably can use a popper as well with, with just the clouser minnow behind it. But I think your chances of hooking up with a wet fly configuration, so it's almost like wet fly fishing, saltwater wet fly fishing. Um, and we're getting needlefish. We had that jack. So I'm going to get a few more. We'll try to get a few more. There they are. Like I've been doing, I get their attention that just by placing casts. You can see, draws one, two, until you get a group of them around where your line been kind of smacking the water and they kind of reveal themselves. Then I'll start twitching and I'll start ch shortening up those casts with my sabigi. And they're not scared of that line. They actually go are going for it. And then sometimes you get that group together and that's when it gets easy to hook up. So that's the basic technique that I'm using today. Uh, saltwater fly fishing with sabiki almost like wet fly fishing for needlefish and uh, we had that beautiful jack but maybe we'll get a few more but I all right got another one so we're saltwater fly fish sabiki salt whoa we got off sabiki saltwater fly fishing today for needlefish had the jack jack Ravel, i think and sabiki fishing for difficult biting needlefish and it seems to be working now we got that there sabiki on and we are hooking up we are landing and just uh exciting fishing so i'm going to do this a bit and then i might hit the surf and basically the cast today is real simple maybe 40 feet of line oh there see we're getting their attention maybe 40 feet of line and not e Ooh, see what i mean uh, maybe 40 feet of line out there and one just popped there and uh, even shorter I'm not really we could probably cast 100 feet today easy because we got a great wind but there's no need for that maybe place one here and there but just uh, sabiki fishing uh, needlefish salt water and uh, really different oh oh there's a chaser there. They're oh, there he goes. They've been really tough to get, but we're getting them. One thing I, I found with these here needles is... Oh, oh, we got one. We got one. Oh, we had one. One thing I found with these needles is they tend to like to hang on the shallow end of the drop-off. Um, usually if you got that bait around, uh, I've been getting them, finding them on the shallow end of the drop-offs. I missed one or two there. Not good, but it's good. Oh, whoa! That was something bigger. Wow, that might have been a bigger jack. Maybe I'll stay here and just keep away from the surf. All right. Uh, I didn't show you quick how I put the sabiki on, but basically I got about uh, three to four feet of about 15 pound test. I have my loop nut and at the end of my sabiki, 
it could be at the end of your line and I just clinch knot right to the loop and when you cut it off you just cut your clinch and I use just use two rungs because they're a little big um, I should have made that a little longer I think we might have had a few more fish if I had another three four inches in there but uh, you just cut off a half of a sabiki two or three and drop your your fly on the end and you're ready to go he picked another he grabbed the clouser minnow no he didn't he grabbed the sabiki that's where you're going to get double your chances. Wow, look at him swim with his mouth open. That's wild. And really, is he a needle, I guess, or... Whoa. Get him a little more... Slow him down a little. That is cool. Really cool fish. Oh, boy. Get my line down current. And be real careful. Well, oh, slow down. Ow. If you got your sabiki swimming around, swinging around, you have your hook. Oh, your hook in his mouth. So be careful with them. Because they can bite you, you can get hooked with the sabiki. Uh, fishing is a very dangerous sport. Very dangerous sport. You can get hit from any angle while you're doing it. So always be careful. Two, three key things that we're kind of doing today that keys on that makes the day special. And that's what makes saltwater fly fishing so exciting is figuring things out. Because first we're just working with a shorter cast. You can see. I don't know, could be 40, 50 feet, even, I prefer to work it in shorter, trying to draw in fish. Then we're using uh, a sabiki fly, uh, so, uh, the end of, a couple of sabiki rungs on with our minnow uh, to get attention and to increase the probability of hooking up. So those three factors are key on the day. Um, you definitely can take a long cast to see if you can draw more fish in. Uh, but oh, you see, uh, just casting in that same spot. Well, he was out. He grabbed that just as soon as it hit the water. Let's see what he grabbed. Looks like he grabbed the sabiki. So needlefish, or some people, I think they call them houndfish. You see, wow. So we got them figured out. That is so cool. So we got the sabiki working and uh, probably had about a half dozen. Let me get out here. Be careful again with these here sabiki. You got a top one, one swinging around on the bottom. Slow him down. You got one. nipping over. Ow! Ooh, he got me. See? You don't want that to happen. Open, open. There he goes. Good getaway. Good getaway. Sabiki did the trick today. Uh, not exactly. Yeah, I guess so. Most of you were working a rung of three wet flies um, with the weighted one on the bottom. Kind of vibrating them on top. Letting this guy sink a little. One, two, three. Um, in, out, in, out, and uh, good stuff.